can stop singing since Jesus put a song in my heart. I just can't stop singing. This happiness will never depart. Though the sun be dreary, the sun is shining deep in my soul. I just can't stop singing since I yield to my Lord's control. If you should ask the question of what is power can do, I can tell you simply, He gave me life I live. No matter what befalls me, whatever my situation may be, I just can't stop singing, for I know one day you come for me. I just can't stop singing a melody is mine from above. I just can't stop singing a rhapsody of marvelous love. No song could be sweeter, no harmony compares with his own. I just can't stop singing, all my praise belongs to him alone. If you should ask the question of what his power can do, I can tell you simply, he gave me life I live. No matter what befalls me, whatever my situation may be, I just can't stop singing, for I know one day he come for me. If you should ask the question of what his power can do, I can tell you simply, he gave me life on him. No matter what befalls me, whatever my situation may be, I just can't stop singing, for I know one day he come for me. I just can't stop singing, for I know one day you come for me. I keep on singing, I know one day you come for me. Amen. Good evening. Amen. Welcome to another evening of revival and blessings. May the Lord bless you for coming. Amen. Let's see whether we can match this wonderful singing that we've been enjoying. Let's turn to hymn number 194. 194. We would like to appreciate the wonderful prelude that we've had. More especially, I want to believe you enjoy the um, children. Orchestra. Did you enjoy that? Yes. Yeah, mainly our children from Manchester and Birmingham churches. They represent the um, most part of that orchestra. I was made to understand that they need to do some borrowing <laughs> as they didn't have um, brass players. So children being children, young people being young people, they have no problem with that. So they have some brass players from London that join them. We really appreciate them. And on behalf of the ministry, we'd like to say thank you so much to the faithful teachers that have given all their effort and time in looking after these children. May the Lord bless them. Amen. Of course, we've been enjoying the choir before now, and we continue that the Lord we strengthen them. Well, Brother Ayo came out to say that you can't just stop singing. May that be our testimony too. Amen. Come thou fount of every blessing. Tune my heart to sing thy grace. We're going to take verses 1, 2, and 3. The three verses and some other songs. And Sister Emma is our song leader tonight.
Amen. Want to further praise God as we sing a chorus that says, As the deer pants for the waters, so my soul long after thee. We'll sing verses 1, 2, and 3. again, God can do anything. Yes. Perhaps you are here thinking, can yeah. God do it? Yeah. This song is affirming to you that God can do anything. Yes. So we will sing the two verses of this song.
sing ancient words, holy words that has long been preserved. Ancient words, verses 1 and 4. we pray we want to sing let you are the you are holy living water let you are holy living water amen we'll sing verse 3 we'll stand to sing verse 3 after that we'll be led in prayer
as we look heavenward, we call on Brother Multabani to lead us in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this kind meeting. We thank you for your presence. We thank you that you promised us that there will be showers of blessing. And God, there have been showers of blessings. Some have been receiving from you. They've been receiving salvation. They've been receiving sanctification. They've been receiving baptism of the Holy Ghost. But there are some, O oh Lord, that are still looking unto you for those showers to fall. God, tonight, let it rain again. Let it shower, O oh Lord. Rain those showers again upon every hungry soul. Let it shower, O oh Father, upon every uh, uh, sick soul. Uh, let it shower again, O oh Lord, uh, on this campground so that all of us will go home rejoicing, uh, uh, heal the sick, uh, sanctify, and baptize with the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Heavenly Father, meet us at the altar tonight. Amen. We thank you, for we know that you'll do it Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Once again, you are welcome to our evening service. May the Lord bless you. Amen. We just want to remind ourselves of the um, activities that we have for tomorrow in continuation of this camp meeting. We have early morning prayer meeting at the usual time of 5.30 through to 6.30 in the morning. And then we have the third Bible teaching. We have only four Bible teaching. I, I hope you wouldn't want to miss any of those teachings. Uh, the third teaching, we come tomorrow at 10. And then in the afternoon at um, 3 p.m., we're going to have a family forum. This is something very special to us uh, in the UK churches, whereby we come together as a family of God's children, and we look at some important points. Um, tomorrow, I want to encourage you not to miss that uh, uh, event, which is going to take place right here. That's going to be at um, 3 p.m. And then as we are doing tonight at 8 p.m., we're going to have revival and evangelistic um, service. Announcement here from our welfare team. Uh, this is something they do every year, and they would like me to inform you that all our newcomers and international guests, they would like the, to have a reception for you tomorrow at 4.30. 4.30 uh, will be the newcomer and international guest reception. I did ask from the camp office, the nationalities represented at this camp meeting, I've, I was able to count 10 countries. So hopefully by the grace of God, you will see yourself and um, um, some of us too will be around to, to, to see you. But of course you will meet yourself more than any other one and our um, welfare team will be glad to have you. It's going to be at 4.30 at the, um, the, the, the hall by the side of this one, just opposite where we are now. Once, if you don't know the place, just come to the entrance there. The ushers will be around to navigate you to where the reception hall is going to be. That is 4.30 um, tomorrow. Because we do have a makeshift baptistry uh, uh, here in the, uh, uh, this site, that's why we like to announce as early as we can if we have people that have been saved either at this camp meeting or before this camp meeting and you've not had the opportunity to be water baptized, you have the opportunity to do so during the course of this camp meeting. You will have seen this in the program coming up on Saturday. Lord willing, so we want to start the registration early so that we can start making necessary arrangements depending on what we have. So please report at the camp office and uh, be sure to register your intention to um, submit yourself to the ordination of um, the ordinance rather of water baptism. We want to encourage you to do so. It is the commandment of God. If you have not done so, Please make sure that you have this opportunity and you take um, advantage of it. Right, another special announcement here. When I say that in London, they know what I mean, so I don't mean what you mean. 
when we say that, we, we refer to special announcements of wedding forthcoming. But no wedding is forthcoming yet. We are going to get many in the name of Jesus very Amen. soon. However, this is very special in the sense that for those that love to have breakfast. So I've been asked to announce to you that um, there is something you don't want to miss at the uh, breakfast place tomorrow morning. I don't know how much you have been paying. Uh, I need to come there too myself. I've not been able to go this year. But they want me to announce to you that one of the um, people organizing that breakfast, I call her the manager. Tomorrow is her birthday. It's not free breakfast, though. <laughs> but they want me to announce to you that um, breakfast tomorrow is going to be only 50p. So that is the way uh, uh, that uh, birthday will be celebrated. So please make your way for 50p breakfast. You can't get any less, can you? So make sure that um, you make yourself available there tomorrow. Don't miss it, OK? OK, let's continue. We're going to sing a song, hymn number 15. Let us, with a glance of mind, hymn number 15, we are going to take verses 1 two and five, verses one, two, and five. At the end of those three verses, as I announced to you that um, the children that came up here to play the orchestration, they are our children. They are trained in this church. Actually, you need to visit a Manchester church and Birmingham church where their teachers devote the time to teach them in the church. Amen. Well, with those who came from London, yes, they are trained in the church too. They have um, one school in Bexley Branch, another school in um, uh, uh, Peckham Branch. The one in Birmingham and uh, Manchester in particular, the, 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 our music uh, um, people there, they are in charge of teaching these children. And they are teaching them the word of God as well. So we really want to appreciate uh, uh, that effort as well as appreciate all these children. We love them and we pray that the Lord will keep them in the gospel. Amen. So the first part of the testimony service will be given to them. Many of them, if not all of them, I want to believe, have been saved from their life of sin. And we want to let them know how much we love and appreciate them. So they will uh, give their testimony and at the end, after a few of them, just some of them have given we listen to the first special, which is a duet. At the end of that duet, one of the two people, we continue with the second part of the testimony, which is just going to be one of them. And then, I don't think, I have two of the names here. I don't think any of them is international. Is any of them international? Is it trio? Now they change it. It says trio. Any international? No. No. OK. No international, but tonight we want to hear from our international guests, those who have not testified before. International means outside the UK, all right? We want to hear from you. And at the end of that, we have our last special, which is Revive Us Medley Before the Word of the Lord. Sister Emma.
me in school, in my music, at home. Um, I also want to thank God for everything he's done for me and my family, for providing for us, for protecting us. Um, I pray that before the end of this camp meeting, I'll get all my Christian experiences. And, uh, and someday I want to meet him face to face. my soul. I want to thank God for sanctifying me and filling me with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I thank you for everything that he's done for me. I thank you, him for protecting me and giving me safe journeys to come eating. I thank God because he gave me a blessing this come eating and I just praise his name. I want to thank him for like helping me throughout the school year, Amen. for helping me with my head boy duties throughout the school year, Amen. and for helping me with my sats and stuff, Amen. and for keeping my family through everything that we've done. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for saving me. Amen. I want to thank him for sanctifying me this year. Um, I want to thank him for... Um, helping us during this presentation, and I want to see him face to face.
dans cet évangile dès, que je, dès ma jeunesse. Um, I thank God he called me to this gospel since my youth. Quand je suis venu, j'étais malade, j'étais blanc comme la neige parce qu'il n'y avait pas du sang dans mon, mon corps. Mais on m'a dit, laisse la maladie, dis à Jésus de te sauver. S'il te sauve, il va te guérir. C'est vrai, quand Jésus m'a sauvé, il m'a guéri complètement. Um, when I came, I was very sick. Um, they said to me, leave the sickness. Once God saves you, he will heal you. And that's exactly what God did. He saved me and he healed me. Il m'a sanctifié, il m'a baptisé de son Saint-Esprit. He sanctified me and filled me with his Holy Spirit. Je vous dis, dans deux mois, ça va faire 49 ans que Jésus m'a sauvé. Et depuis ce temps, il me garde. Je passe par les vallées, je passe par les montagnes, mais Jésus, il est toujours avec moi. Um, in two months, that will make 49 years since God saved me. Um, and he has been with me. Je, I pass through mountains, I pass through valleys, but he has always been with me. Pourquoi je dois remercier Dieu ce, ce soir? Ça fait 30 ans que j'ai une fille qui est malade. Et, elle, ne peut, elle ne sort pas de la maison. Et une fois même, elle a voulu se suicider. Mais depuis un temps, Jésus l'a guéri. Maintenant, elle sort. Je, je l'ai appelée. Aujourd'hui, on m'a dit qu'elle est sortie. Elle est partie en ville. C'est Dieu qui a fait ça. Parce que cette fille ne, ne sortait pas de la maison du tout. Mais Dieu a fait ce miracle pour moi. Why do I want to thank God tonight? Because it has been 30 years since I've had a daughter that's been ill. Um, she was very, very ill and she didn't want to, she couldn't even leave the house. Um, but she, God has healed her and today I even spoke to her and they said she's left the house and she's been walking around. God has done so many miracles in my life that I cannot tell. Um, pray for me that I can be exactly what he wants me to Pour be. Que je puisse le voir à la de, euh, à la fin de mes jours. So that I can see him at the end of my life. Remercie-le pour moi. Thank God for me. God is good. Ah, uh, I thank God who saved my soul. Uh, a few years ago, uh, I was a sinner. At the age of 11, we were invited to Apostolic Faith uh, uh, Church. And uh, there I first heard of salvation. Uh, but I, I ran away from the church for three and a half years. But the conviction was in my heart. Yes. I couldn't enjoy anything. I tried to walk around with the Gideon Bible, the small ones, I started reading then, but that did not uh, cure the conviction. No. Until one day uh, there was a, a prayer meeting after three and a half years without coming back to the services. Uh, and I told my sisters that I would like to join you uh, for tonight. Amen. They tried to uh, request me to come on Sunday because Sunday I'll have the opportunity for Sunday school. I said, I would like to join you for tonight. Right. It was on a Saturday uh, all-night prayer uh, meeting. I came down there, I knelt down, and uh, I prayed through to salvation. Yeah. And the salvation was gone. Yeah. I'm on my early 20s now in the Lord, and he's still keeping me. Yes. For me and my wife to come here, I would like to say that showers has been, uh, has been falling since uh, before we left Botswana. Yeah. We are here on heavenly sponsorship. Uh, just before we came here, we were looking for the money to re for the tickets, and uh, we didn't know where to look at. Uh, then uh, the bank that we used to use here uh, six years ago, uh, they wrote us a letter this year to say they owe us some money. Amen. And uh, they would like to refund us. Amen. And uh, that, that, sum, that sum was enough to put fuel in our car, Amen. to drive to South Africa, and enough to pay our return tickets Amen. to come down here to UK, Amen. and enough to pay for our camp fees. Amen. Then, coming next is our Botswana camp meeting. Then my employer, they called me, they said, we have not been paying you right. We owe you some money. <laughs> Then, that was enough for, to pay for our Botswana local camp meeting. Amen. That's how good our God is. Yeah. And we are still receiving his showers. Uh, we thank God for that. Yeah. Thank God for loving me so much. Um, I have a goodly heritage. This gospel was brought to our house by my grandfather. So um, my mother also got saved. And here am I today. God saved me. He sanctified me and baptized me with his spirit. I thank God for being part of this church. It is a wonderful place one should be. I'm so happy to be here. I've come here before, not here, but at Liverpool. 
This is my first time here, and I've been enjoying it. The showers have been drenching me. I'm so happy to be here. In my place of work, God has been all in all for me. Anyone that, when I was looking for that job, I was told I was too old for the job. But before that time, at the camp meeting, 20, 2005, God told me that he was going to give me the job. But two weeks to the time they will call me, somebody called me from the office and said, Madam, are you past 55? I said, yes. 50, uh, 50, rather. I said, yes. He said, you can never get that job. I said, God, but you promised me. I heard you telling me that you give me that job. Two weeks later, they started calling me. Madam, do you still want to work? That's where I'm still now. I'm 64. I'm still working. And God has been so good. Anyone that had wanted to remove me, God will either remove the person or they lose his job. So I'm so happy. It is God that promised and he's keeping me there. I thank him for it. Amen. I was a sinner, and when I heard the gospel, I gave my life to Jesus. I confessed my sins. He saved my soul. Praise God. Amen. He sanctified me and filled me with the power of Holy Ghost and fire, and he put a burden on my heart to serve him every day. I thank God for that in Jesus' name. Uh, I want to say that a few months before the camp meeting, uh, there's a little bit disaster in my home. Uh, when I come back to work, I have to take care of my wife because she's very sick. Uh, in fact, sometimes I come home, she's not there. I look for her, she's in bed. Then it was a very hard time for me. Then, and we are about preparing for the camp meeting. We have already paid for the flights and do the, everything we have because we normally try to pay for the flight as early as possible so that we can get it cheaper. Then I was like, Jesus, what am I going to do? Help me. So, and not only that, my daughter again fell sick. Oh, it was a horrible time for me, going to work, coming back home, taking care of both of them. Uh, but I thank God as I was contemplating what is, what is it, how is it going to be this year's camp meeting. Oh, but the Lord is so faithful. Uh, I thank God that in a miraculous way, I didn't even know that she would come to camp meeting my wife. But God made it uh, just a few weeks before the camp meeting. She started getting stronger. Praise the Lord. And then not only that, the Lord healed her completely in Jesus' name. I thank God that also my daughter, she couldn't go to school. Normally, my daughter, through the grace of God, she's very good in the school. And she hardly missed school. But she was for, at home for more than one week. So it's a big thing for her. She has never been so away from school like that. But I thank God that uh, I, I was thinking she would not even be able to make it to the camp meeting also. But here are we, three of us today. Praise God in Jesus' name. And upon all these things, my greatest joy is that we have been attending UK camp meetings for six years now. But this year, we are not alone from Germany. We have another family of three whom the Lord brought and brought us to UK camp meeting. Praise the Lord for that in Jesus' name. I pray that we should pray that those souls should be saved in Jesus' name. God bless. Let's fight with the power and the blood of Jesus. Thank you. 
We open our Bibles to the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come. That they might have life. Amen. And that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. 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 You're not cheap. No. I just tell your neighbor, you are not cheap. The devil's plan for people here is to cheapen you up, affect your self-esteem, make you hate yourself so that in the end you have no self-value. He does it in many ways. But the price tag on every creature that God has made is priceless. Priceless. You are not cheap. So, also, you are not for sale. Young people, get this in your system. Let it be your heart's cry. Tell it to yourself every morning. I am not for sale. It doesn't matter how sweet they talk to you. It doesn't matter how handsome he is. It doesn't matter how well she flaunts herself before you. You are not for sale. Take this thing as your creed. Make it your doctrine. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 4. It says, say unto wisdom, thou art my sister. If you are an only child, make this word your sister. If you are an only person, make it your brother. Your first boyfriend, your first girlfriend is the word of God. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 4 says, say to wisdom. Who is wisdom? Jesus Christ. He says, say unto wisdom, thou art my sister. And call understanding thy kinswoman. You have to fall in love with this word. Before he gets there, the wisest man, he wrote these proverbs. He says, my son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandments and live. And thy, my law as the apple of thine eye. And then he goes to say, bind them upon thy fingers. Not rings. This word of God, let it be on your fingertips. What what would would we do with our fingers nowadays? We're browsing. We're browsing. We're browsing. We're texting. (laughs) And God is saying, he says, before you text. (laughs) Before you text. Before you send that picture. Before you do the discussion. Fingers. Bind them upon your fingers. There's a reason for that. (laughs) You, you, You get an auction. Sometimes even before you're saved, some of you, you already know what God's plan for your life is. You know. And some of you know that the call that God has on your life is so premium. It's so high that, you see, the details of what's happening now don't really matter. It's the big picture. 
as a painter, if I ever get wrapped up on details, the painting is not going to be all right. I need to see the big picture. It's the big picture. Some of us, we get caught up in what's happening now. Your picture of your life, if only God could just show you some part of the puzzle, some part of the picture, today, 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 you will make a deal because that's what it is. You've got to make a deal. But the first transaction you're going to have to make is with the person who has been running your life. There's a very sorrowful story after this command. A very sorrowful story. But God will change the story of your life. You all know my story. I had a sorrowful story. Terrible story everyone it seems like when I went to Nigeria last year I was trying to tell one of my one of the youths here he said you don't need to tell me about your auntie we hear your testimony almost every Sunday this is the auntie that rescued you when in 1988 you lost your elder brother in 1989 you lost your father in 1990 your mother after losing her firstborn and after losing her husband she had to commit suicide and your life was over but God raised me up and now let me tell you the good news there is good news for you I believe with everyone here we all believe that today today you're gonna have a new birthday the celebration has just started Figure that out. On the 4th of February, 1990, my auntie took me, says, come and see. Every, almost every day of my life, my dad would drive us from somewhere in Lagos, past Maryland, past, no, past Antony to Maryland. And we always used to see a sign apostolic faith campgrounds yeah. in blue and white. Yeah. Me and my sister will be saying, where is this church? Because there's no church, only a sign. And we go around and Tony, we never saw it. But something was telling us, if they are putting this sign here, there has to be something in this yeah, place. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. By God's special providence. That's what I call it. Yeah. Providence. God rearranged things around. You think when you are at your wit's end that it's over, it's only just begun. Are you with me? At that point in my life, I wanted to just give up everything. But a Sunday school teacher, my auntie, who was the only professing Christian in a family of Muslims, we have disowned her. I never knew her when my parents were alive. She comes and says, as she's teaching kids Sunday school, God tells her, there's a boy who needs help. There's a boy who needs help. There's a boy who needs help. Who? Your own cousin, your own person. She arrives into the scene. My sisters, they say, no, 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 no. We don't know you. Whereas she introduces herself that she's from the apostolic faith. Whereas a year before in my secondary school, I read the track for another's crime. I don't know who dropped the track there. I've read it. I said, wherever these people are on the face of the earth, if I have an opportunity to find them, I will go after them. That was my opportunity. I had another auntie. I knew her so well. She had the money. She had everything. She was waiting. And I had another one who I didn't know. And I have to make a choice. Tonight, you're going to have to make a choice. And so, and so I say, I'm going with this one. And they start crying. They start crying. They start crying. They say, Banji. And the woman herself, she didn't even make it easy. She says, we don't have money. We don't have anything. We just drink Gary here. Things are really hard. But I love you. (laughs) Preach, son. That's it. That's it. 
gone. <laughs> glory. That's glory. <laughs> I said you're going to have to make a decision. Yeah. Are you going to continue the rest of your life? Yeah. With this person who has made you so cheap, so cheap, so cheap, so cheap. I'm not saying that breakfast is no good. Uh, don't get me wrong. The Cadillacs don't go on sale. They don't. They don't. If it's worth the price, it doesn't go on sale. Amen. You are precious. Amen. Don't let anyone tamper with your life. Amen. Some people are sent from hell. I don't know. I don't know. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. Is that what you think you're joking with? Children, young people, listen to what happens to this young boy. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 6 For at the window of my house I look through my casement and behold among the simple ones Don't be too simple. I behold among the simple ones I discern among the youths a young man a young lady. Look at what it says. Void of understanding. That's why you need to make understanding your kinswoman. If you don't have it, if you don't love understanding, these words that come out, don't let them drop. Have your notebook. Have your, uh, uh, just, just don't let them drop. These are precious words. Yeah. This is what runs your life. Yeah. This is the oil, the engine of your future. Yeah. You let them drop, you'll be like this guy. Yeah. Sorrowful story. He says, I discerned the youth, a young man, 7-7 seven, seven I am on, void of understanding, no understanding at all. So many of us brought up in this church, we lack understanding. But today, yeah. God is going to give you a payback check. Yeah. He did it for this guy. Yeah. He did it for Brother Motobani. I said, we owe you something. Young people, I can see talent, potential, ability. Look, I go to schools, pack, they bring the whole school, the whole school, sometimes the whole year 11, and they say, talk to them. And you can't talk about Jesus. So you can't really give them the real secret. You have to sugarcoat it a bit. But the real deal the real deal is what we're giving you here. The real deal. And you only had to, what is pay? What did you have to really pay? This thing is it. Look at what happens to this guy. Don't be like him. He says, passing eight, passing through the street near her corner, he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black, dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot, that's the outward is dodgy, and a subtle of heart, the inward is dodgy. And that's it. And that's all it takes for your outward to be dodgy, the inward's dodgy. Some of you say the inward is dead. That's why you're here. You come to the altar. I don't know how to dress. I don't know how to. Uh, this was a plan. This was an attack. Yeah. They had to scheme against this young man. It wasn't a day's plan. Sometimes the devil can be after you for 10 years because he's working on a day. He's organized. The one person that is fighting us is Organized. Organized. Look at the details. She's, she, I'm going to 11 skipping. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now she is without. Now in the streets and lieth in wait at every corner. The devil goeth about seeking whom he may devour. Okay, he goes on. So she caught him and kissed him 
and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings. What have they been talking? They've been playing on your mind. Don't let the enemy cheapen you up by some sissies playing with your mind. You need to cast down every imagination, every thought that raised itself above the knowledge of God. The devil has polluted the world. Even the Christians to walk through the streets of London, you need to hold your heart tight because you're in for a ride. Young people, fight for your lives. Fight for your lives. It's not mommy's life. It's not daddy's life. It's your life. And your life is precious. It's precious. I didn't know how precious my life was until I gave it over to the captain. And then I started seeing how he can plan, your, plan a person's life. He'll plan your life to the details. He will make your life sweet. I came to the gospel, had no hope. The first person I need to talk to is one of my sisters. Come and see. Come and see. And God, she comes, she sees. Listen, I don't know how God schemed the whole thing out. But when he set me on the path of life, he began to sort every detail out. Don't joke with your life. Listen, listen, listen. Sometimes... For the men, it's the outward. The devil will catch you. He knows what to use. To, he, okay, he knows our weaknesses. Yep, true. He, he knows our weaknesses. He knows, he, he knows where you, you're most susceptible to fall. Like He knows where to get you. He's a he's perfect planner. Organized. He'll set you up. Yep. He'll set you up. You don't know. You just think they're friends. You just think you're hanging out. You just think it's kind of cool, like I can just do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. No, that's too costly a game to play with the enemy. I'm going to jump. See what she tells him, 17. I have perfumed, perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. 18, he said, come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. She didn't say it was lost. The devil has a way of mixing things around. Yeah. You get confused. You think he loves you. He doesn't oh, love you one bit. Catch you on the wrong side. He will be nowhere to be found with the wind. Yeah. He's gone. She's gone. You'll be left and your life's worth is gone. But thank God for second chances. Amen. 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 Listen to what's on the CV of the devil. It's a human being, right? Yeah. We're almost there. I, I jump, I jump down. It says, may you not be like this. Oh. 22, he said, he goeth after her straightway as an ox to the slaughter. Oh, a fool. It's like, uh, you are laughing. Oh, that's how some of you are. You're laughing. It's, it's funny now. It's funny because I'm making it like this. Some of you, you know what you're doing is no good. You know it's no good. You know of your known. You know the knowledge tells you this is no go area. But remember, he's walking in the twilight, in the darkness. There is no light. It's the light that reveals sin. You, 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 you see what I'm saying? You know when you've crossed borders. Something will tell you the motto, the God given GPRS will tell you you are off boundary. Boom, doom, doom. Some of us, our hearts are so hard, we don't hear nothing again. Look at this man. He says, listen, he says, Oh, as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till a dart strike through the liver. The whole liver, the, the thing that purifies your body, your purity is gone. You can't look at a human being in a normal way again. You have infiltrated yourself, polluted your mind with rubbish. And some of you people allow yourselves to be used, abused. Why? When there's a man who says, come unto me. Oh, ye that, are, that, are, that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. He says, hearken unto me. Now therefore, O oh, ye children... Children, and attend to the words of my mouth. 
Let not thine heart, I'm on 24 and 25, let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. Look at her CV, the devil's curriculum vitae. For she has cast down many wounded. Look around and see, were they these people who came in 2004? Five, six, seven, eight? Many wounded. You can't even appear in the congregation of the oh my, of the children of God because it messed you up, messed your life up. You need to fight for your life. When you come to the altar, you know, look, let's not complicate this thing. It is not complicated. You come say, God, I am ready. I love you. I need you. Help me. Save me. You know why? Because finally, 27, he says, her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. You don't want to go there. You want to come here, change masters, make your life better. And I tell you, we believe that after today, you will have a new story. The altars are open. Come over. Lord, Heavenly Father, enough is enough, O oh Lord. Father God, we come at your throne, Lord Jesus. We're making serious decisions, O oh Lord. Father God, come down, Lord, and help us. By the special grace of God, Lord Jesus, you are going to save souls tonight. Lord Jesus, you are going to sanctify. Father God, you are going to baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. Father Lord, meet us at our point of need. Father God, we come again with our hearts open. Lord, help us. Oh, we believe in you. Father God, do us for this for and much more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.